All right, yo, what's up, guys? You've got Lightning here, back at you guys with another gameplay. First one in a while, and a while I know. Um, got a pretty good game for you guys today. Um, I played a game earlier today versus a Pantheon. Um, I know Pantheon's one of those harder matchups, and I thought, shit, well, what a good first video, you know? Um, versus a Pantheon, I can I can redo the video, and um, or rewatch the video on the replays, and then go over it. Um, because I I think I played this matchup pretty well, like especially like the early early landing phase, um, I just didn't give him any room to bre or room to, to jump on me and, and, and totally win the lane, so anyway, the way this game started, um, they invaded our bot side jungle, even though we had it warded, um, Elise came to the blue and just gave away her red to Ramus, I think she's going to go up and get the red. So Pantheon that gets the lane, obviously he's at, at lane before me, um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna try and get the CS I can and uh, avoid his uh, spear as, as much as I can. Um, the Doran Shield, I started George Doran Shield. I think it's the best option versus Pantheon. Uh, simply just because a lot of his spear damage gets negated. Um, I, f oh, I find out here that he actually started W because they invaded. I didn't know because no one really told me or I don't I think I got to use it. So, um, an interesting choice there. If I knew he started W, I would have played a bit more aggressive and push the lane a bit a bit harder to try and contest level two. Um but um yeah I didn't know so I just sort of played played it safe. <clears throat> uh, I'm running flat armor, flat uh AD marks and attack speed quint. Uh just because you want the early game survivability in this matchup. Uh you do outscale them quite hard. Um the key is just basically getting out of laning phase as quick as possible. Getting that triforce, getting the ninja tarby. Um <clears throat> And just getting getting past those first sort of six levels, like once you get to level six, yeah, uh, you could you can fight him if you're sort of even even in gold. But that ignite really does play a big part in this matchup. So I'm just trying to let the lane shove towards me. He doesn't get an opportunity to fast push it in or anything. So I can sort of just semi sort of freeze it, let a big wave build up, and then let it come into my tower, and then I can just get all that farm for free. He can't really jump on me when I'm in my. Uh, in my tower range, so I just let the big wave build up slowly, and slowly he like he kept auto attacking me, which makes the wave push even faster. So I get a massive wave. Uh, we got look at the CS. I'm five CS ahead. At least comes in for a gank. I, I want, I'm prioritizing CS because I don't really care about the kill at the moment. She misses her E anyway, so not much point in uh, going over aggressive for that. She stole some XP as well, so um, <clears throat> I'm one CS off uh, getting level four here. So this is like so far so good. He's he's not sparing me as much as I thought he would, um, and he hasn't like tried to really combo me properly. It's really weird. I, I was expecting more of a punishment in this lane, but he hasn't really delivered. Um, I was I was expecting it to be a lot harder than this. He wasted he wasted a lot of mana on his on his E, which doesn't do fuck all damage. All it does is proc strike, thunder lords basically. It doesn't actually do lots of damage until, unless you like rank it up. Which, which in this case he's ranking his, his Q, right? So, he's really starving himself of mana. And then since he's out of mana, I can go in for a trade. And since he's got to ignite, what I'm trying to do here is force him out. And then, and then, since he has no TP, I let the wave push right back to me. And then he misses the whole wave of Seer. That's basically my goal here. So you can see he's, even though he's got his corrupting potion, um, the wave's still pushing to me, which is perfect for me. Look at the CS again. I mean, tw 29 to 30, but I've got a whole wave. Ramus comes in for a potential gank, but uh, fails. I managed to stop the wave just outside my tower. That's so important, because um, it means an extra wave has to come for him to actually get it into my tower. Which basically just gives me uh, you know, extra CS without it going into my tower. And he has to stay here longer. He's just in more danger. If, if at least was to come top, you know, he would be in more danger. So he finally shoves into my tower. He wants to back right now. I'm just going to get all the CS for free. And that should put me ahead in CS. So it's going to put me... Uh, I missed the CS. Okay, so I'm basically a wave ahead in CS. Look at the gold. Um, I'm on 1700. He's on 1600. So he's uh, almost 100 below me. Uh, since he has no TP, I know when he backs, it's going to take about 27 seconds to get back to lane, right? So I try and push this wave in as fast as possible. I imagine he's sort of with that... With that wave that's coming up here, he's probably with that. Yeah, no. 
Yeah, so he's just behind it. So I managed to get into the tower, which is important because you want to try and get the reset. I don't know if I actually got the full reset because the tower won't actually reach that. So if he could, he could probably freeze it. Um, not indefinitely, but for a little bit, he could probably freeze it right there. Well, it wouldn't be very good for me if he did that, but um, so I'm HCS up. Once he gets this, I'll be uh, <coughs> CS will be about even. But once I come back, I mean, see, I missed half a wave here. The lane will, uh, the sorry, the the wave will eventually push since his wave is going to arrive first, so it's going to reset about here. Or well, maybe about here actually. And he's only just caught up in CS. So now the waves, um, since he's got one extra cannon minion, uh, sorry, caster minion, it's definitely, definitely going to um, push to my tower if I let it. And now he's roaming. I did ping him missing. I pinged him on the, um, um, you know, the uh, tab and pinged him like that. But um, I should have probably pinged like missing or something like that. That was really my fault. Um, didn't really ping him properly, which is which is not very good. But I take the opportunity anyway to try and get what I can out of um, a bad situation. So I I push the wave in with my ult. Normally I wouldn't really push the wave in with my ult, but it's so early in the game and wave clear isn't the best right now. But um. <clears throat> The, the cooldown did get lowered like a little bit, so it's not as punishing to, to push the wave in. Still up in CS, uh, 10 to 11 CS, so uh, look at the gold, 2300 to 2400, he got that assist, so he's up in gold slightly. But that's okay, I mean, I've just, I've just got it back, so I still have uh, better items, I've got the ninja tabby, so, and the door and shield, and the, I went for the ruby crystal, just to sort of survive and get the CS that I want, because I, I know he's going to roam. Um, <clears throat> eventually, if he get if he can't kill me, he'll just roam, and then I can just keep pushing for tower. They have no TP on their team as well, so that's another thing to note. Um, I can really apply some some side lane pressure without getting too punished. Even though Pantheon does have his ult, um, it's it's not as good as a TP. It's not <clears throat> it's not global, right? So, uh, like I think his ult from from here, uh, my chest, here you can. His ult only goes to like here, around here, to like the dragon, I think. Or maybe even what, uh, once he gets to like level 16, I think it might go uh, close, close to mid lane. He, I think he's got to come down the river a bit. Again, he's got no mana, but he's going for a trade. He's got no summon and sums either, so look at this. I've got five minions here, uh, and then a whole wave coming. So I can make him miss all of the CS. So that's, that's close to 200 gold, you know, 180 gold or something like that. Them up in CS, and he's gonna lose a whole wave. <clears throat> I've still got all this to farm, don't forget. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. So that's two waves, and he's gonna lose this whole wave here. So I've basically denied him a wave, and I'm still gonna get two waves, two waves in front of him. And he's missing all that XP too, don't forget. So he's level, even though he's level eight, I'm almost level eight, and but I've got all the CS here to get. He's missed each. This is the second wave now. Uh, let's see where he is on the map. Okay, so he is top again. So he missed, uh, like one million, two minions from that wave. So that's good, that's a total of, uh, it was a cannon minions wave, so nine CS that he missed. And it's little advantages like that that, um, you know, you, you look for. Especially when it's a Knight Pantheon, he's gonna try and make plays there on the map. So, especially in the top lane, I just wanna try and get any advantage that I can. Because eventually if I get to the point where I can 1v1 him, um, the game's basically, basically over. Which at this point, I can't want to 1v1 him yet, but I, I can survive against him. Brand comes in for a gank. See, I'd rather, I'd rather Brand push that to tower. If Corky runs bot, I'd rather Brand just push. I don't need the gank, right? So, and he misses uh, stun. So, I'd rather, like the CS set my tower, I'd rather just get the CS. And I could have TP'd. I could have probably TP'd here. I just, I didn't feel it was worth. Because I didn't see any uh, opportunities, I mean after Brand left, I didn't really see any opportunities to sort of do anything good down there, so I kept my TP, um, because I wanted to back anyway, I had no mana. I wanna, my goal was always to push this to the tower, look at my tower's health, he's really touched it. And I'm getting some good damage on, on his tower. Um, notice mid tower's healthy, our tower's full, and bot's got a little bit of pressure, and mid's got minimal pressure there too. So, first blood tower is quite a big possibility for me. Uh, at least just gets full, that's just being greedy. I think Brand actually dies. Oh. I don't know. If, I don't think he dies. But he could he could have died, you know. And since Pantheon's roaming, 
Uh, yeah, I've got my phage and a dagger now, so I've got a bit of damage and and wait and I can clear the waves quite easily now since I got the extra AD. So now I just want to try and come and clear these waves, push into tower again. That way, if this guy does roam, um, you know he, he has to answer this tower. If he doesn't, um, then he's gonna lose the tower. The only the only bad thing with this um strategy, and I was thinking about it as I was playing the game, I was thinking shit. If Pantheon can snowball the game too hard. Am I am I doing the right thing? Should I or should I be roaming? You know, um, but see this like he's sixty five CS, I'm a hundred. Since I've kept to my strategy, he's a sixty five CS, I'm at a hundred. He's he's only got one kill and one assist. Look at the gold, right? So I'm still ahead in gold by two hundred gold. And what's he got now? He's got he doesn't even have his own moves yet, but he can't really damage me very very easily, you know. And without his ignite at this point, uh, I'm pretty sure I beat him in a one v one. I'm just trying to clear the wave, clear the wave, and keep clearing it. Where's the jungler? Where's the Remus is coming. See, I didn't know he was coming. I know he's coming now, and I run into the bush, try and wait out his queue, and he backs off. I could have just used the minions to take cover. If he if he even touched one of those minions, his queue's fucked. So that's when I that's when I can just run away for free anyway. So good of him to back off, like he knew, um, you know, he wasn't going to get anything out of that. So. Now that's also the third time he's come top and got absolutely nothing. The first time he, he showed here, the second time he came around here and, and came tanked two tower shots coming through here when I was standing just in front of my tower. He got nothing out of that either and that's the third time. So that's good in the sense that I've made him come top for nothing uh, three times. It's just given him a little bit less pressure on the map. So yeah, maybe if he, if he didn't come top at all, you know, he could have had maybe three kills or three more assists or something like that. So it's that's still a good thing. Um, I noticed that um, <clears throat> Pantheon's roaming again, and I ping that that is roaming, and I see that he's gone bot, so I just push this out. I was gonna freeze it, but um, at this point of the game, when you really want to actually start taking towers, I think it's important to to not not freeze it, because especially when he can roam and ult any lane he wants. Um, yeah, it's, his aim is to roam, so it's not like he's trying to do jungle camp or struggling to farm. He just wants to roam. See now he's got two kills and three assists. He's probably hitting gold now. 4-4 four, 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 five. Let's see, when I get this tower, I'll keep an eye on the gold, right? So, just so if you didn't know, you can see how important first tower gold is. So, about even in gold, he's 50 gold ahead. And look at my gold when I get this. 5,100. See, just because of that first blood tower, now I'm 600 gold ahead. They get the barrier, it doesn't matter. But look at my gold lead just slowly get bigger. Because he's pissing around trying to get leads in other lanes. Like, in Corky's ahead, Corky could really... Do some damage. His bot lane's still behind. Ramus, you know, he's doing alright. He's got a kill, two assists. He's been doing some work. Um, at least not so much. He's been been getting a bit shut down in the in the jungle there. But see, with that first blood tower, that allows me to get free back. Uh, I don't know if I get triforce off. Two thousand. Yeah. Uh, is that triforce? That might be just under triforce. Where do I get it? I'm waiting in the bush. I don't know why I shouldn't be waiting here. Um. Oh, I think, no, I'm waiting here because I think I need like a hundred and something gold for Triforce. So I wait here, um, just because he's pushing anyway, he thinks he's going to push it into tower. So I wait here and just get the gold. Turn the Fog of War off, or on rather. And now I think I have enough for Triforce now, and I'm backing. So once I get Triforce, I really want to start you know, roaming down here, because I've got the strength now. He's got Yomu's and a Kindle Gem for my Triforce, so... Alright, TP mid. Did they get brand, but look at the power well, look at the power spike, right? Just trying to use that sheen effectively. And then with my W active, Pantheon just can't do shit. The sheen procs right now, the power spike is just coming in. Get a double kill. That's huge. I think I think that's really huge in this matchup. Where um this gets turned around completely. After I get the uh first blood power and the and the triforce. Um so look at his gold now. Fuck fifty two hundred to sixty three hundred. You know, not one minute ago, one minute and a half ago, you know, he was ahead by 50 gold. And just like that, um, I've taken him, I've taken him over by a thousand gold. Um, but see how it can swing so quickly when you, when you do the right things. I mean, he, unfortunately for him, you know, he wasn't able to make enough of an impact around the map. If we look at the matchups here, like, <clears throat> Elise is ahead by 800. I mean, Corky, Corky is really shitting on Brand. He's, he's, he's doing horrible. So he's on 4,000 gold. To, Five eight, so that's the difference there. Eighteen hundred gold. Uh, bots even. 
and support slightly ahead on our side. Primus Flash. See, I um, I think we should have just backed out. I mean, turret was low, but they were they were all coming from the uh, after we actually aced them so, and they were all coming back from base, so we should have really just uh, backed off. I get out alive, which is good for me, I suppose. But I just drive by. I think that's wise to go for Titanic here, since we don't have like a dedicated tank. I think, I think going for a Titanic Hydro. Yeah, it looks like I'm going for a Tiamat first, and then into Titanic Hydro, and then maybe some armor or um, resistances after that. I think maybe going a um a locket would have been good here, because they have such a big engage. If if we were a team fight, like if Pantheon altered my team, followed up by like a, a flash, uh, hook from Thresh or something like that. Um, Locket would have been quite good since I am stacking health with the Triforce and the, you know, the Titanic once I get it. Um, I feel like Locket's still underrated. I feel like it's still a good item since, you know, we do not have a dedicated tank. Um, then another option is getting like the Black Cleaver with the, uh, Stoneborn, is it Stoneborn? Plate? I think that's what it's called. I haven't, uh, got that item in a while. And that's really effective because then it doubles your health and then gives you all the resistances too so it makes you just that much more tanky while also you know adding damage to your your titanic hydra so we're getting the uh rift herald anyway because we have more pressure on the map even though we don't have too much vision around here we know they were down here we saw them before it's we have all the all the members of our team here um easily uh, pressure the rift, rift herald um ends up giving it to me yep so I think the wisest thing for me to do would be to clear this, come mid and get this tower. Because <coughs> one, one hit from the Rift Herald and the tower's gone. But I'm up top farming, I think it's important. There's already a threat from Pantheon uh, to ult. I don't have um, TP, so there's always a threat from Pantheon to sort of walk, you know, walk to like here and then and then ult, ult behind my team. I think I used the uh, Rift Herald here. Using here... I mean, I... My thought process right now is that I just saw Pantheon here, so I thought he was defending the tower. And then you look what happens, like he's standing in mid lane. Yeah, and he can ult all the way to there. Uh then I didn't I didn't expect the Ramus and the Corky to be there. So I ping the mid tower hard out, just tell my team, get get the mid tower, you know, get get something. I, I fucked up, I made a mistake. Um, so you need to get the mid tower. Try and get something back. And it's almost dead, so if we can get that. And don't forget, we've got pressure in the bot tower as well. At least, I don't know if she gets the skill, but... Is she? Nah, she doesn't get it. She should have tried to get out, I think. Although, she got the heal from uh, Ash. Or was it the... Oh no, it was the Sona W. These guys get this. So even though I died here, uh, lost quite a lot of pressure, uh, we still got the mid tower here. Bot got the, uh, the bot tower, the tier 2 bot tower here. Oh, shit. Nice ult. That's they're pretty fucked. You know, they can't... 4v2, they can't really uh, get away. They do what they can though, which is quite good. Holy shit. Yeah, she's dead. Okay, so overall, like, they got kills. Probably not worth. Um, gold's really even. And we can't really afford to just keep giving kills, because, like, the carries, like, uh, especially, like, Corky Ash, they would... You know, Corky could really carry the mid-game. I'm sitting down here now, um... I didn't have TP to join that fight, so I walked down here to sort of take them off the dragon. I did see they were all low, and I am on a power spike. I do have quite a lot of damage, and I've also got the ninja tabby, so... Um, I was just trying to keep them off the dragon at this point. Uh, doing what I can to um, stop them from furthering their lead or getting another objective. And I was clearing the bot, clearing the bot lane. So Pantheon's doing, doing alright for me at 5-1-5. Five, five. At this point, it's not really about the, the 1v1 anymore. It's more about how how we both go about snowboarding the map. So you can see I'm you know still 700 gold in front. Um, was that 700? Yeah, like 800 gold in front, 700 gold in front. Um, but that's probably irrelevant when you know Cork is sitting on 8k gold. He's even to me, so I've got the most gold in the game right now, which is quite good for me. Uh, oh no, sorry, uh, Zaya does. She's doing pretty good. Uh, I think because of that play there, getting that tower. And then her getting two kills um, really, really sort of boosted her, boosted her items and stuff like that, right? So she, now she's got two items and the Berserk agrees at, at 20, 21 minutes, which is really huge, you know. 20, 20 minutes having two items like that is good. So we think we can win these fights, right? But see, I engage. I, I forget about this, the, the real threat here. 
and I engage on this fucking tank, and then Pantheon just comes from out of the fog of war. Um, really bad by me. I mean, <laughs> really, really bad. Um, I was really reluctant to go in and then and then uh, at least land the cocoon. Um, so I just sort of uh, didn't follow my instincts and, and went in uh, to try and jump on the the tank for some reason. But you shouldn't do that. You most certainly shouldn't do that. We sh we should have got dragon and then backed off and defended this in this, and then just kept them pushed. Because I'm pretty, I'm guessing these guys wanted to back you know, and buy. So we should have bought our item, reset, and then would have would have been good to go again. You know, we would have to fight them in their in their jungle with no vision. We could have fought them in the lane or something like that. But I think in the in the jungle they sort of win because they got the Ramus, the Thresh, the Pantheon. You know, all these threats that can and especially Ash and these narrow narrow corridors and things like that. She can easily hit an arrow. So it's just for, for us. It's just really a shit place to fight. I think the best thing for us uh, with our team is to five v five press them in the lane. Because if you look at the five v five, if Pan unless Pantheon lands a really good ult on top of all of us or something like that, um, you know they can't really. I don't think they win the five v five because we've got the Zaya, the Sona, um, who's giving uh, you know five man hunts. Well, especially to myself and Zaya, if she can she can dodge the uh, like the Ramus, you know. Uh, the taunt, the engage from Ramus, then they, I think they basically win because Ramus just gets kited out like so easily. If he if he fucks up his Q and like his uh, taunt, then he just gets kited to the days. See, they're grouping now as well. I'm sitting down here. I'm I'll, I'm I got TP. I'm telling my team um to keep keep pressure in the lanes, keep the lanes pushed, and then um if they come down for me, we can move for a Baron. Looks like these guys are actually trying to get Baron. It's quite interesting how this uh, all plays out. I might actually just watch it um, with full full vision. Because I know Pantheon's down here, and I know he has ult, but I also know that uh, my TP gets the Baron faster than his ult. So it's quite interesting to see what my team does in relative to what their team's doing with the different, um, different you know, different like the TP and the ult. So I back, what do I buy? I, I complete my Titanic Hydra. So that's huge for me. Uh, he's got Black Cleaver. So he's got two that I mean Black Cleaver's quite expensive, but I mean go and lose his I've got two, you know, like like S tier items, really good like late game items. And and he's got, you know, like a like an early um, cheap item and like a you know black cleaver's quite a good item as well. So I'm pretty sure I one v one him anyway. Uh level fourteen to level thirteen. Yeah, he doesn't beat me in a one v one anymore, no way. I don't even think a knight can save him. I'm not trying to chase him, I'm trying to get the CS. I want to clear this, keep it cleared. So that way, um, when it comes down to it, um, our, our wave's pushing a bot lane. So I'm just trying to utilize the side wave, right? So, knowing he's got no TP, he has an ult though. And then I see, I know he's going to ult, or he's going there. So I just TP straight away. At that, at that point, my team's already um, you know, taken out the Ash, which is really good. They can, my team can pick Ash. Is so squishy. My team can pick quite well, but if Pantheon managed to get there before me, I think I think we lose. And then now I'm making the right decision by going on their carry rather than you know going for the Ramus. I take Corky out of the fight. Um, you know he's he's 100% out of the fight. Oh, Brand gets him in the end um, because he's so low. And I go and I get ignited. You know I know we got Sona, so I do get the shield and live. I could have just as easy died. I probably shouldn't have gone on the Thresh. Because uh, I, I knew the Pantheon was around, and I knew the Thresh was right there, so the CC could uh, have most certainly uh, killed me uh, if I didn't have Sona around. Probably, I mean, it's probably a decision that I didn't need to make. Because, uh, you know, the risk, if you look at the risk factor, you know, the risk was quite high of me if I dove, getting CC, chain locked, and, and dying, so... Uh, definitely should not have done that. We do end up securing the Barons, they don't have vision of us at all. I think they did with the Hawkshot, that's it. So now with the Baron, you know, look at the gold, we're, we're way far ahead now. Especially Zaya, you know, she's uh, two and a half, almost uh, you know, 2k in, in front of the ADC. I think that's one of the key matchups, like she, her uh, Zaya scaling before the Ash. See, she's got almost triple threat. She has, well, she went double threat and then uh, Mortal Reminder. Yeah, Mortal Reminder, what, what healing do they have, really? I personally, I mean, since they got the Pantheon who has Hell, the Ramus tank, the Corky, well, well, not so much the Corky, but the Thresh as well, I think, I think going the bloody, uh, 
uh, Lord Dominic would be would be better. I don't know why you'd go Mortal Reminder versus their team. I don't think that makes them much sense. Yeah, I don't know. I don't agree with that item, but but nevertheless, you know, it's still she still needs the armor pin because she's got Ash with these bloody Digitabi. Uh, Gresh who gets passive armor. Uh, Ramus who you know generally gets quite a lot of armor. Uh, my team's pressuring. Corky uses package to get away from me. And my team, since since we are far ahead, you know, my team managed to pick off the fresh from the side, so that's good. So I immediately, uh, I, I know Corky's gonna come to mid, so I just come straight to mid. They get some good damage on him. So now we're just gonna try and end the game. But I make a good play here by going on the Corky. Um, I knew my team, I knew my Sona has ult and whatnot, so I know we can make the play. And then manage to take out the Ash. And that's, that's basically the end of the game. I, uh, I don't know, I feel like it's, I feel like it wasn't a very exciting game, but, um, uh, nevertheless, you know, I didn't get smashed by Pantheon and lane, which is, you know, really important, super important to, to not get smashed by the Pantheon. Don't lose to the Pantheon and lane, don't give them a, a, a window to, you know, engage on you all the time, uh, try and make the wave push into you, and, you know, get Ninja Tabi, uh, and when you go for Triforce, especially if you're not ahead, I think going for that, Ruby Crystal, the health with the armor really synergizes quite well. And then going for the daggers, double daggers, um, you know, it still gives you a lot of attack speed, so you've still got that dueling power if you need it. Otherwise, you know, you can always go fades into daggers. Um, Sheen, I don't like Sheen because you can block it, so I don't bother with Sheen until until later. But uh, that basically sums that video up. I, I, I'll try and get a, a more exciting one when I actually, you know, um, properly beat him, but this particular game, just because of the Ramus three, I didn't feel like I could really, um, you know, risk like trying to snowball snowball my lane, especially with the ignite. So, I uh, hope you guys like that video. I uh, hope you can take something away from it. Um, I'll definitely be making some more videos. Got a couple more gameplays I want to upload through the week, uh, just when I have some time. But anyway, uh, I'll leave you guys there and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give us a subscribe or a like if you if you enjoy the videos, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Yeah. yeah.